Exodus, the third chapter, we'll be reading from verse 10 until about verse 15. Let's honor the Lord today with the word of God. Praise God. Amen. From verse 10 of Exodus, the third chapter, until verse 15. Amen. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I, that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be the token unto thee, that I have sent thee, when thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, he shall serve God upon the mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto thee, The God of thy father hath sent me unto thee. And they shall say unto me, What is your name? Good question, don't it? What is your name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am that sent me unto you. And God said, Moreover unto Moses, Thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob hath sent me unto you. This is my name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generation. And may God bless the reading of the word and we honor it by saying glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Please be seated if you can. We welcome you, everyone here. Welcome the leadership here. Everyone that's online, amen, we welcome you, amen, to another day of going through the scripture, the holy scripture, amen. Come on, somebody say the holy scripture, amen. Welcome everybody, welcome all of our friends and neighbors online, welcome all of you that make it out today, amen, to hear the word of the Lord, amen. Good to see all of you, praise Jesus. Listen, and listen good. I have went through a complicated day yesterday. Hello, somebody. A very complicated one. Have you ever find yourself dealing with non-stop complication? Seems like everything that supposed to go right, go wrong. Everything that's supposed to be normal is abnormal. Anybody here today or online or any of our viewers from around the world ever got to that place and have one of those days? Come on, talk to me today. Everything you plan, the way you plan it, how you plan it, it seems like everything just complicated. <laughs> I heard one of the musicians say, Marshall, that's not the way you planned it. That's not the way you hope for it. That's not what you believe for it. But the day becomes so complicated. Nothing is wrong with the day in itself. But the occurrences and the activities that occurred in the day. And so I am saying to God yesterday, I'm saying, hey God, what, what do you want me to talk to the people about today? <laughs> and the Lord give me an answer. He said to tell you that he knows that it's complicated. Hello, somebody. He knows that it's complicated. And we're going to be reading about a man today who is very complicated. His name was Moses. Moses' is, 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 situation is not normal. Moses' situation is so abnormal and so complicated. Born to a Hebrew family. And second of all, he found himself called the son of a god. 
he kill a man and run away for his life and find himself in the middle of the bush and while he find himself there in the middle of nowhere somebody say complicated <laughs> Gary this is complicated Moses now take up a occupation as a shepherd and this man is a prince somebody say complicated how do you find yourself working as a shepherd and you've been raised as a prince revered as a prince but you find yourself in a complicated position moses was a complicated man so now he find himself pastor elizabeth dealt with this last week he found himself now in jethro's house and and from there now from the house where he married this beautiful princess he found himself in mount zion and while he found himself upon mount zion zion he he came in contact with a complicated experience with a green tree burning it's complicated come on natalie it's complicated this man whole life is complicated now out of the green tree that is on fire a voice spoke out of the fire and spoke to a complicated man already who is on death row charges for murder running away from the family he knew now find himself married to a family that he barely knew now he became a shepherd and now he is witnessing up in the mountain mount zion a bush talking to him <laughs> a bush talking to him and if the bush was speaking to him barely by uh, itself but it's so complicated that the bush is on fire the little that he knew from egypt as a prince he knew quite well that green tree can't be lit it's complicated man it's complicated like our life complicated now a green tree lit on fire and a voice coming out of the fire it's complicated i am complicated don't try to understand me because i am trying to understand myself because i am complicated you are complicated too and that's why some of us men don't want to stay with us and women don't want to stay with us go to job and lose the job because why we are i have no problem admitting it i am very complicated i understand me very well but i don't necessarily understand people around me very well and sometimes <laughs> amen preacher <laughs> and, and and sometimes the truth to be told we stop and we think the reason why things are the way they are is because i am and we are pastor grace very complicated see what i mean and i'm not saying that we don't have a right to the complication but when it's only affecting me it's okay but when there are people in my life that it affected it's not so okay because they have people in our life sometimes have false expectation from a complicated person and when you have a complicated person that's fighting battles in your mind that you can't explain i can't explain to pastor elizabeth the battles that i'm fighting in my mind every day i am very complicated hello you are very complicated don't sit there and look cute as if you don't know all of you you are very complicated moses was very complicated was a very complicated man and now at, at the end of that a bush talking to him and a voice inside here telling him to go on an assignment that's more complication and complication you want me to go on an assignment i don't know you i heard about you i don't even know your name but you're complicating me more come on somebody say it's complicated successful people live complicated life because you have to do what normal people are unwilling to do you have to be what normal people refuse to be it makes you complicated and no matter how much you explain what you're thinking about people don't get it you ever tell somebody something that you're thinking about and six days later they come back to the reality 
and say, oh, I get it. No. Come on, somebody. But that's what I was trying to tell you a few weeks ago. You cannot walk a day in my shoes and I cannot walk half a day in your shoes. Because your struggles and your fights that you are dealing with is extremely complicated. Your mother don't know what you're dealing with. Your father don't know what you're dealing with because there's a battle going on on the inside of every one of us that are seated here. And so we go through the complication every day and we put Jesus in it. Hello somebody. So God said to Moses here in verse 10, let's go back there and see this complicated thing here. In verse 10 he said, come now. He's, God is talking to him. And he said that I God will, will send you on to Pharaoh. First of all, the man is running away from Pharaoh. <laughs> he's running away from Pharaoh. And this God who appeared unto him that he don't know on Mount Zion. The first thing he said to him is what? Somebody say complicated. This thing is complicated, brethren. He said, come therefore and I will send you now to Pharaoh. That thou mayest bring it my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Now this man had run away from Pharaoh for many, many years. And the first conversation that this unknown God speaking to him in a green tree on fire said to him, I want to send you back what you're running from. I want to send you back where you came from. Wait a minute, God. This is complicated. Don't you understand that? I am running away from this man. I'm running away from my past. I am running away from my problem. And I, I fear Pharaoh. I fear this man. I fear him. And now, not only are you sending me back to this man, but you're telling me to tell this man that I feared, that, that, that have me up for killing one of his soldiers. He have me up and he want to kill me because he considered me a murderer. And there is a, a arrest warrant out there for my arrest. And you want me to send, send me back to him and to tell him to let the slaves go, the slaves that make him money every day. Somebody say complicated. How do we navigate the complication that we go through every day and still make sense with our life and don't quit? And throw in the towel and just give up. I told you before, I am very complicated because I'm a dreamer. It's very difficult for Pastor Elizabeth to marry to me. Why? Because I'm a dreamer. I don't get a day off. I don't take a day off. I don't take a day off in my mind. I'm always dreaming. I'm not on cruise control. I'm always dreaming. And I'm sharing the dream with the people that are nearest to me. Closest to me. And I'm dreaming. And if they're not dreaming, you know how complicated that is to tell somebody that's not dreaming. That you're dreaming and you're dreaming right now. When they want to have bread, food, and salvage. And so the complication in our life today make the difference in our life. Come on, somebody. It make a unique difference in our life. The things that we see as a challenge sometimes in our life is the very same thing that God wants us to conquer. Hello, somebody. And so now in the 11th verse, and Moses said unto God, because he said his name was God. Huh? Who am I? Moses is asking this question, now, now, now who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh? Now, now first of all, uh, Moses is running away from Pharaoh. I know you're sending me back to what I'm running away from. Who am I to do that? What power do I have? What authority do I have? Who am I? I'm a nobody. Have you ever feel as if you're a nobody? Anybody here? Feel like you're not worthy? Huh? And, 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 and it's one thing when you, kept, when you keep it inside of you and you're struggling with your own insecurity. You're struggling and fighting your own demons. You're struggling and fighting the defeats that are taking place in your head. Most of the time, you know, it's we that beat up us the most, you know, more than others that are beating us up. So Moses was very insecure. Who am I? You want me to go and talk to the great Pharaoh? I am nobody. I am nothing. Why do you want me to, to, to go and, and speak to Pharaoh? And if it was speaking to Pharaoh on my behalf, but you're telling me to tell Pharaoh to let the people that make him wealthy go. Complicated. Come on, somebody. Talk to your neighbor. This is complicated. Amen? Very complicated. So now Moses wants to know, so who, who am I in verse 11? Huh? Who am I that I should that what is it said, verse 11 and Moses said unto God who am I 
that I should go unto Pharaoh and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. The man was insecure. He didn't think that he was worthy. He didn't think that he had the ability to do what God is calling him to do. He didn't believe that it was possible for him to do that. There are times when I'm dreaming. There are times when I'm doing things where it feels as if I'm in it all alone. And there are times when it seems as if it don't make sense. And unless in this case Moses was told, listen, I the Lord is with you. So as complicated as it sounds, I am with you. Verse 12. Exodus chapter, the third chapter. Verse 12. And he said, certainly I will be with thee. And this shall be the token unto thee. That I have sent thee. When thou brought forth the people out of Egypt. And you shall serve God upon this mountain. Now, 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 when, when God come to you and say to you, certainly I am with you. Don't that make you feel good? Anybody? Huh? God is saying, I am with you. You already complicate me. But at the end of the complication, you say to me, I am with you. Anybody here want God to be with you? Come on, anybody here want God to be with you? Come on, somebody. Amen. Now, now God is telling a complicated man that I am with you. Moses don't have a clue what that meant. How, how do I know you're going to be with me? Somebody say complicated. This is complicated. But nevertheless, even though it's complicated, God is with us. Come on, somebody. Look at verse 13. In the same verse 12, then he said, he shall serve God upon this mountain. So God is telling him, go and get my people, get them back. And when you get them back, I want you to have church in this mountain. Now, God didn't explain to Moses, Moses, listen to me, Pharaoh is not going to make it easy for you. He did not tell Moses the difficulties that he have to go through in life. He did not tell Moses how the challenges would come and when it come. He just gave him an instruction, go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. How many of us and how many times we have a good idea and a good vision and a good insight of what we want to do. We can see the end result, but we don't see the process in between. And when the trouble come in between, we feel like we want to quit and give up. Uh, it sounds good. I am with you, Moses. Go and tell Pharaoh, Moses. But wait a minute now. Why didn't you don't think it would be much better if God was to explain to Moses, Hey, Moses, listen to me. Pharaoh's heart will be hardened. No, you're not talking to me today. I don't think you get it. Come on, somebody shout. This is complicated. <laughs> but God is going to work it out. Come on with me today. Amen. Look at the 13th verse of Exodus, the third chapter. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, he's talking back to a complicated God that he's meeting for the first time. So when I come into the children of Israel, what shall I say unto them? And listen to God answer. Somebody say complicated. The man is saying, yes, God, I will go. But when I go, when I meet the people, what should I say to them? It's a good question, don't it? Here is God answer to Moses. Tell them that the God of their father has sent me unto you. And that they should say to me, what did they say to me? What is your name? What shall I say unto them? Now, Moses is asking God a question. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to tell them. This is a complicated position for Moses to be in, number one. Are you with me? So complicated, number one. All right. He is going. He's willing to go. He accept the duty that I will go. Pretty much like God calling all of us today and telling us to go. Go and teach and preach the word of God. It's complicated. People talk about you. People misinterpret you. People don't understand you. Truth to be told, they said, we are too complicated. But now God is saying to Moses, Moses, listen, this is what's up. This is what I want you to understand. When you go, you're going to tell them that I am sent you. Now this is more complication here. I'm asking you your name. It's a simple question God. And your answer to me with that name. Is to tell them that I am. 
that I am. Wait a minute. Couldn't you just tell me my name is Jehovah? Couldn't you just tell me my name is God? You're sending me on a complicated task. The least you can do is to tell me your real name. Instead, he said, I am. Anybody here ever find yourself at a place where you just want God to say yes or no? And he don't say nothing. And sometimes when he, when he does answer, he just give you a complicated answer. I am sent you. Now, first of all, the people that he's going to go say that to don't like him very much. Because he dressed like an Egyptian and the Egyptian have them in bondage. Do you know how difficult it is for you to like people that hate you? Do you know how difficult it is for you to like people that oppress you? Do you know how difficult it is for you to like people that wants to make you a slave? Tell you when to eat, if to eat, how hard to work and to work harder? They don't like him and now he's going back. How do we navigate the complication that we go through every day and still make sense with our life and don't quit? And throw in the towel and just give up? I told you before, I am very complicated because I'm a dreamer. It's very difficult for Pastor Elizabeth to marry to me. Why? Because I'm a dreamer. I don't get a day off. I don't take a day off. I don't take a day off in my mind. I'm always dreaming. I'm not on cruise control. I'm always dreaming. And I'm sharing the dream with the people that are nearest to me. Closest to me. And I'm dreaming. And if they're not dreaming, you know how complicated that is to tell somebody that's not dreaming. That you're dreaming and you're dreaming right now. When they want to have bread, fruit, and selfish. And so the complication in our life today make the difference in our life. Come on somebody. It make a unique difference in our life. The things that we see as a challenge sometimes in our life is the very same thing that God wants us to conquer. Hello somebody. And so now in the 11th verse, and Moses said unto God, because he said his name was God. Huh? Who am I? Moses is asking this question, now, now, now who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh? Now, now first of all, uh, Moses is running away from Pharaoh. I know you're sending me back to what I'm running away from. Who am I to do that? What power do I have? What authority do I have? Who am I? I'm a nobody. Have you ever feel as if you're a nobody? Anybody here? Feel like you're not worthy? Huh? And, 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 and it's one thing when you, kept, when you keep it inside of you and you're struggling with your own insecurity. You're struggling and fighting your own demons. You're struggling and fighting the defeats that are taking place in your head. Most of the time, you know, it's we that beat up us the most, you know, more than others that are beating us up. So Moses was very insecure. Who am I? You want me to go and talk to the great Pharaoh? I am nobody. I am nothing. Why do you want me to, to, to go and, and speak to Pharaoh? And if it was speaking to Pharaoh on my behalf, but you're telling me to tell Pharaoh to let the people that make him wealthy go. Complicated. Come on, somebody. Talk to your neighbor. This is complicated. Amen? Very complicated. So now Moses wants to know, so who, who am I in verse 11? Huh? Who am I that I should... That, what is it? Verse 11. And Moses said unto God, Who am I? That I should go unto Pharaoh. And that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. The man was insecure. He didn't think that he was worthy. He didn't think that he had the ability to do what God is calling him to do. He didn't believe that it was possible for him to do that. There are times when I'm dreaming. There are times when I'm doing things where it feels as if I'm in it all alone. And there are times when it seems as if it don't make sense. And unless in this case Moses was told, listen, I the Lord is with you. So as complicated as it sounds, I am with you. Verse 12. Exodus chapter, the third chapter. Verse 12. And he said, certainly I will be with thee. And this shall be the token unto thee that I have sent thee when thou brought forth the people out of Egypt. 
and you shall serve God upon this mountain. Now, 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 when, when God come to you and say to you, certainly I am with you. Don't that make you feel good? Anybody? Huh? God is saying, I am with you. You already complicate me. But at the end of the complication, you say to me, I am with you. Anybody here want God to be with you? Come on, anybody here want God to be with you? Come on, somebody. Amen. Now, now God is telling a complicated man that I am with you. Moses don't have a clue what that meant. How, how do I know you're going to be with me? Somebody say complicated. This is complicated. But nevertheless, even though it's complicated, God is with us. Come on, somebody. Look at verse 13. In the same verse 12, then he said, he shall serve God upon this mountain. So God is telling him, go and get my people, get them back. And when you get them back, I want you to have church in this mountain. Now, God didn't explain to Moses, Moses, listen to me, Pharaoh is not going to make it easy for you. He did not tell Moses the difficulties that he have to go through in life. He did not tell Moses how the challenges would come and when it come. He just gave him an instruction, go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. How many of us and how many times we have a good idea and a good vision and a good insight of what we want to do. We can see the end result, but we don't see the process in between. And when the trouble come in between, we feel like we want to quit and give up. Uh, it sounds good. I am with you, Moses. Go and tell Pharaoh, Moses. But wait a minute now. Why didn't you don't think it would be much better if God was to explain to Moses, hey Moses, listen to me. Pharaoh heart will be hardened. No, you're not talking to me today. I don't think you get it. Come on, somebody shout. This is complicated. <laughs> but God is going to work it out. Come on with me today. Amen. Look at the 13th verse of Exodus, the third chapter. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, he's talking back to a complicated God that he's meeting for the first time. So when I come into the children of Israel, what shall I say unto them? And listen to God answer. Somebody say complicated. The man is saying, yes, God, I will go. But when I go, when I meet the people, what should I say to them? It's a good question, don't it? Here's God's answer to Moses. Tell them that the God of their father has sent me unto you. And that they should say to me, what if they say to me, what is your name? What shall I say unto them? Now, Moses is asking God a question. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to tell them. This is a complicated position for Moses to be in, number one. Are you with me? So complicated, number one. All right, 